Hello, and welcome to this lecture on Introduction to OpenShift. In this lecture, we will go through a high-level overview of what OpenShift is. OpenShift is Red Hat's open-source container application platform for developing and hosting enterprise-grade applications. Of the various cloud computing models, such as infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. OpenShift is Red Hat's platform as a service offering. Once deployed, OpenShift takes care of managing the underlying infrastructure components, thereby enabling the developers to do what they do best, code. OpenShift has four different flavors, namely the OpenShift origin, which is the original upstream open source project from which all other models are derived. The OpenShift Online is Red Hat's publicly hosted version of OpenShift Origin, available for application development and hosting purposes. OpenShift Dedicated is a managed private cluster on cloud platforms like AWS and Google, and OpenShift Enterprise is the on-premise private pass offering of OpenShift. Mostly, in the duration of this course, we will be covering OpenShift Origin. OpenShift Origin is based on top of Docker containers and the Kubernetes Cluster Manager with added developer and operational-centric tools that enable rapid application development, deployment, and lifecycle management. To understand OpenShift Origin, we need to first understand Docker, Kubernetes, and the set of add-on tools provided by OpenShift. Docker is the fundamental technology that powers the development of containerized applications in the form of reusable images. Docker enables us to create an image of our application with all the required dependencies pre-packaged into images that can be instantly deployed in any environment. We will look more into Docker in an upcoming lecture. Kubul's Kubernetes powers deployment and management of these Docker images across large clusters by providing self-healing and auto-scaling features. OpenShift builds on these technologies by providing a layer of tools that abstract the underlying Kubernetes and infrastructure management tasks to help developers easily deploy and manage their applications on the Kubernetes-based infrastructure. OpenShift adds support for developer tools, such as built-in integration with source code management softwares like GitHub. OpenShift has built-in integration with build pipelines that helps developers rapidly and consistently develop, build, test, and deploy applications. OpenShift helps manage Docker images of your application by providing a built-in registry. OpenShift comes with support for software-defined network that provides networking capabilities out of the box. OpenShift is API-centric and has a rich and well-documented set of APIs that helps us easily integrate OpenShift with our existing infrastructure. And last but not least, OpenShift provides out-of-the-box support for projects, teams, and users to organize and manage access to applications. We will look at each of these in depth later during this course. For now, let us proceed with understanding some of the prerequisites, such as Docker and Kubernetes, in much more depth. In case you are already familiar with these technologies, feel free to skip those lectures and go straight ahead into OpenShift Architectural Overview section. If you are new to these technologies, even though we cover a basic introduction to these technologies in this course, I would highly recommend attending the Docker for the Absolute Beginners and Kubernetes for the Absolute Beginners course, which will help you understand and practice these technologies even more. Well, that's it for this lecture, and I will see you in the next lecture.